Hey everyone, Justice Good here. Thank you to Official Funny Ice Cream for this intro. Uh, he was real nice and decided to just send me one out of nowhere, so I figured I'd use it for now. Not sure if it's going to be a permanent thing. But in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to create this quick pop art transformation. One of the first tutorials I ever made was a pop art effect, and you can check that out as well. It was one of my first tutorials, so beware I wasn't that good at recording into the mic. But let's get started on this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is open up the image that you want to transform into this pop art style image. So here's my original photo and it's way too big to be working with right now so for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to go to image, image size and I'm going to use around 1600. <laughs> um, actually I'll even go down to 1500 so you can see the whole thing totally preference so use what you want now the first step you want to do is go to image adjustments threshold what you want to do is adjust the slider so that you see all the most distinguished facial features or features of the image that you want so don't wash everything out like that and don't make it all too dark somewhere in the middle is a nice mix so I'm just going to use my eye and I think that looks nice um, now what you if you end up with all these spots that you don't want which is also preference if you like them you can leave them if not you can actually just grab your paintbrush tool and just use a regular soft round brush the default brush and you can oops close that brushes panel you can just select white and literally just cover over these random areas that you don't want you can get more precise with it or not but I'm gonna leave it because I like that so once you're happy with the black and white stamp of your image we can quickly add some color with a layer new fill layer gradient now what you want to do here is select a colorful gradient or create your own I'm just gonna to go to this arrow here and select color harmonies 2 and I'll use this red white and blue one now for the angle you can also adjust it whatever way you want so the first thing you should do actually is just set it to multiply and then you can double click the layer and adjust it so that it fits your photo better so you can adjust things like the scale which brings the gradient closer together or further apart you can even click on the picture and move it around where you like so I'm going to bring it right there bring the scale out a little bit so that some of that red is peeking out of both sides of her face. So once you're happy with your gradient position and style, you can even change to like radial, angle, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm just going to leave it at linear. You can click OK. Um, now for a few final touches, we can create a border. So go to layer, new layer go to select all or command A and then click any one of these selection tools and then right click on your selection and select stroke now I'm gonna go inside about 45 pixels and color just solid white I guess you could use whatever color you want depending on how you want your border to look and the border is actually completely optional. I just think it's a nice finishing touch. Another detail you could do is click on your background layer, go to filter, pixelate, color halftone, use a small max radius somewhere around 5, and you can adjust these settings however you want really. Play around with it and learn the filter uh, if they're all different 
then you'll get a more diverse color halftone. If all the angles are the same, then your circles won't be separated. If you see what I mean, like the diff the more different the angles are, the more separated and spaced apart these different colors are. But you can add that color halftone as a little finishing touch or detail. But what I like to do is if you, if you do it and then you immediately go to edit, fade color halftone, you can fade that effect that you just applied. And I like to fade it to about 20 to 30 percent. And there you have your final effect. At this point you could add any kinds of final details you want or change it in a way that you like. But overall this is the basic way to create this particular variation of pop art. Of course there's lots of other variations of pop art that are less filter based and more hand done and more custom like selected. But this method works if you just want a quick two three minute transformation. So hopefully you learned something in this tutorial. Please check out my channel. I've got almost a hundred other tutorials on there so maybe something else you wanted to see is on there. And uh, please leave me a comment if you had trouble with anything or if you had a question or on something you wanted to see in the future. So thank you for watching. I appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel to be notified when I make future tutorials. And I'll see you next time.